Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to talk to you about your ADSR envelope. And we're going to use this instrument to talk about it. This is a brass reeded instrument in the upper registers here. It's basically a harmonica. If we take it down You could say that it's an accordion or maybe a concertina. If you're wanting to make pirate music, I have your hookup. But they're all basically the same. So let's talk a little bit first about how my patch is set up and then we'll go into the details of the ADSR. Here's the first envelope which operates on your amplitude and the second envelope which is operating on the filter. Right? First let's look over our oscillators. You see that the mix is set to about 1 o'clock, so it's favoring the rightmost oscillator. They are both tuned, they're both set as square waves. They are synced together. <clears throat> the pulse width on the leftmost oscillator is sitting at about 8 o'clock. On the right, it's sitting at closer to 10. Now, you'll note the tuning. The rightmost oscillator I have tuned to C and the leftmost oscillator is tuned eight semitones down from that. My filter, I have a low pass filter set up. Frequency is setting at 11, no resonance, no mod depth. Envelope depth is set to three o'clock, so a lot of envelope. My LFO is a triangle, and it's going a little bit faster than once a second. I have it set about 10 o'clock on the right. And the other important thing to note before we talk about the envelopes is the patch bay. I have LFO Uni, so that's just a positive LFO signal. If you use the LFO itself, it'll swing negative, and we don't want that. So the LFO Uni is going to pulse with one, and it's constantly shifting that around. <clears throat> now, to talk about the envelopes, this is your attack, decay, sustain, and release as it relates to your controls. Your attack is how quickly, so if you, if you push down on a key, how quickly does the signal rise to full amplitude, then it falls off, and it'll stay at the level of sustain that you set for as long as you have the key held down, you let go, and the release is how long does it take to release. So when we talk about a harmonica, you blow into the harmonica, it takes a moment for the reed to vibrate. And you can see that on my envelope one. I had the attack turned up a little bit, so it has a right. If we didn't, it would be immediate. It doesn't sound right. So it takes a moment for that reed to vibrate. Then uh, essentially it, it stays high for as long as I have it held down. And then the release again. You quit blowing through a harmonica and the sound falls off for a moment. Now envelope two, again, this is operating on the filter. So it's with regard off of your bass frequency, which is set here. So push down the key, frequency is coming up. Then it goes down for the decay, is held for the sustain, and the frequency falls back off to bass, which is set here. So that's really all there is to it, and this gives you a lot to play with. You can apply this to almost any instrument, but with this patch in particular, it's really cool. Any any brass reeded instrument you want to mimic, if you just mess around with this frequency on your filter, you can dial in anything. Folks, please like and subscribe and share these videos with anybody else that you think might be interested. Uh, throwing down pearls here man got no subscribers so peace out